Hello everybody, my name is Kroon, welcome back to another episode of Besiege. This is an awesome little game where you build machines to destroy other machines and vehicles and try to complete objectives. It's a lot of fun. Anyway, we're just gonna hop right into it. Alrighty guys, so we are on zone 23 still. We are trying to pillage this village and see if we can actually destroy it. Now last episode, we did end up failing. We tried to build this crazy looking thing. Where is it at? I have no idea what we were trying to build. It was trying to do some sort of bouncing truck that could somehow bounce up in the air. And unfortunately, the plan just never really turned out. We couldn't really build a car that would actually be able to bounce in the air. That was a little bit not practical and wouldn't really be too useful. Um, but we are going to try to build some sort of machine today. Alrighty, so I've been doing some thinking of some machines to build. I want to make something that's somewhat practical, but I also want to do something that's super original that hasn't really been done before. And in those regards, it's sort of hard to come up with an idea because a lot of things have been made in Besiege. I also want to build something crazy and that's interesting to watch me build. So what I'm going to go for today is some sort of giant punching box because our goal here, we obviously, we have to destroy 90% of the village, which doesn't seem too difficult, um, except these guys who are standing up here on these little pedestal things. So I'm thinking the way we could actually knock these guys down is if we build some sort of crane that can actually extend out and hit them, sort of like what we had at the end of the previous episode. So we're just going to go for some sort of crane-like object um, that sort of leans forward a little bit, and this way we could just add pistons and pretty much just go to town. So we're going to want to be back a little bit, and I'm thinking we're going to go out the sides, and I want this thing to sort of be like a, um, how can I describe this? I want it to be, I want it to be leaning forward once you push the play button. Alrighty, so this is what I'm sort of going for. You can kind of notice that it does look a little funky, I'll give it that, but once we push the play button, it sort of leans back on itself, and it, it begins to look okay and halfway decent. Now, something I don't like is this placement. Um, we'll have to, we'll have to sort of connect it up here a little bit. If we go out, and then out like this, and then maybe down here, I think this will help me out a little more. Okay, does this look a little bit better at least? Yeah, I'm feeling a little more structurally sound here. Um, so this is the basic, the basic idea of what I was going for. I want a machine that's sort of leaning forward that might actually be a little too much lean. Huh, is there any way we could reduce the lean? We could probably come out one more. That would reduce it a little bit. Or you know what? We'll come out two more. That'll reduce it a lot. Okay, so we'll come out two more. And then this is where we will go ahead and art ourselves a suspension. I think we actually delete this and just put a suspension there. Okay, in this way... We should be able to fall back just a little bit. Yeah. Alrighty, I am really feeling this design, man. This thing is looking pretty cool. It's somewhat what I wanted. I wanted sort of a thing that's leaning back a little bit. Um, we just have to make this thing look a little more structurally sound. But I think I could do this easily just with a few little guys on here. So while I'm building this thing, I want to quickly thank you guys for supporting this Besiege series. I started, I started playing this game you know, not really expecting too much, just having some fun, because it is such an awesome game, and I wanted to give it my best try, and you guys have really surprised me um, with the amount of support that you guys show on this series. It really, it's it's also like, it's working with um, my Minecraft knowledge a lot too. I have to sort of try to invent different objects and machines, because I want to build something to be original and to be funny and, you know, not super practical, but I also want to build something that looks kind of cool and sort of works. It doesn't always work. We have a lot of episodes where we build stuff that's just a complete fail, but hopefully most of the time we get something that's somewhat cool. And I think this is going to be one of those cool days. So this is what I'm talking about. We need some sort of machine like this. And now what we're going to do, if we push this machine to the ground, um, I believe we can just be able to come up here. We might want to use pistons here. Maybe, maybe we can't use pistons, but if we come up here, and then we do a whole bunch of, maybe a whole bunch of pistons, that's what I'm talking about, on the front here. We should be able to just use this thing to, like, reach up there and just poke that house. Like, we should be able to just drive around and poke stuff with our po pokey stick. Oh man, oh man, that pokey stick weighs a lot, <laughs> doesn't it? Oh, that's a, quite a heavy pokey stick. But if we drive it forward here, this is what I'm going for, is it tall enough? It is tall enough, and then if we extend it, Booyah! <laughs> Holy crap, that's a little too long. A little too long of a pokey stick. 
<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, we, we disconnected our pokey stick. Oh man, poor pokey stick. This thing is crazy. Look at this. Leaning back really helps it though. It is so much more stable. Like, look at this thing. We are, we are like a stable rock. Okay, um, I'm going to, I'm thinking that we need to extend these wheels out at least one, or maybe we don't need to extend them out one more block. I think it's good where it is because we're leaning back just enough to make this pokey stick um, a little liable. And then we will, of course, we'll connect up some braces on here and maybe a few to the side just like this. This will just add in the extra little support whoopsies that wasn't in the correct spot. Here we go. Okay, are you stable now? Let's see. All right, we're pretty stable. And then if we do this, holy crap, do we rock back and forth. We can jump. We're, j oh my gosh, we are jumping. <laughs> we're, oh, I'm sorry, sheepies. We are, we are one crazy machine. The cool thing is that we can, we can flip over from wherever, dude. Like, seriously, we might be able to just beat the level by <laughs> extending our pistons. Okay, so the game has actually been updated and I haven't realized they added in a water cannon so, um, my, my general rules whenever the game gets updated, I like to try to play around with some of the new things. So, you know what we're doing? We are building a water gun, because why not? Why not build a water gun? Okay, here's the water gun. So, what is water useful for? That is my number one question. Okay, we use Y to shoot. So, if we, oh boy, oh boy, are we trying this thing? All right, here we go. We're gonna try to water somebody. Should we try to, let's water up this Yakovin. All right, Yakovin, you ready? You ready? He doesn't know what's coming his way, man. Look at him, he's sitting there all innocent. He is just enjoying his, his afternoon. And we are, <laughs> if I saw this thing pointing at me, I would just start running. I would just start, whoa, and the one's facing the wrong way. Oh my God, look, he's slipping and sliding. Oh, attack him with the water. <laughs> oh, we killed him. Death by water gun? What? I like how one's just facing the wrong direction. Oh my god, this water gun is hilarious. Holy crap! Is it destroying? What else can it destroy? Up. Oh, we're sort of falling off, aren't we? <laughs> Look at us just spaz out. <laughs> okay, um... Hello, water gun. Are you unlimited? It's not running out, is it? Oh my gosh, this... Look at us, we're just breaking everything. Okay! Okay, water guns might be the way to go. Because they are literally are breaking everything. Oh my gosh, we are. <laughs> what have I built? Oh, what? What is going on? <laughs> okay, well, um, that water gun is facing the wrong direction, aren't you? Okay, we'll just we'll get rid of those water guns and also maybe shorten up my piston by a few. Now I am really feeling these water guns though. I'm thinking if we just were they unlimited? I'm I'm almost thinking that they are in fact unlimited. So. If we just cover this thing in water guns, uh, they seem to be, you know, destroying some of the objects there. So I'm thinking if we cover this thing in water guns, then what's gonna happen? Uh, you guys are sort of in the way, aren't you? Maybe we could put, oh, we could put ones on the side here. Ah, uh, we can't. Dang it, on the side there? Okay, that's good enough. So I'm thinking if we cover this thing in water guns and then we just activate them, um, I'm thinking they're unlimited too. This way, all we have to do all we have to do is check this out. We just have to drive around. Boom. Oh my gosh. Genius. Genius. We are just spewing out water in every direction. They don't even know what's up. Look at us go. Oh my gosh. We are like a fire truck. We are a crazy fire truck. Holy crap. And then we can sort of just, whenever we want to destroy something, I wonder if we could just pop our pistons into it. Can we destroy this house? Come on, house. Take that. Nope. Nope. The water. Why did you destroy that house? How does water take down a house? Alrighty, so this machine is pretty much flawless already. There's one thing that we can add, though, and that is going to be some pistons here on the front. This way we can sort of... I'm hoping that we can walk up. That's maybe one too long. I'm hoping we could walk up to a house, and this way we could extend th these guys. Um, we'll just activate them with... We'll activate them with P, but I'm hoping that we could walk up to a house and um, this way instead of having to run into it because uh, we're holding a lot of weight here and especially with all this water spewing out in all the directions and this piston going up on, on the top, I'm thinking that we're not gonna, we're definitely not able to just, you know, walk right into a, a village like this. 
So, oh, look at that. Why did that guy get blown up? Oh, Yakovin spinning off in the... <laughs> Poor Yakovin. Maybe we are tossing animals into buildings or something. I don't know what's happening. But I'm thinking if we walk up to a thing and then we just pee it. Oh, yeah, look. Booyah. That guy just takes, uh, takes rid of him, man. Takes charge and just knocks him down. So that'll be what we'll use to sort of... Oh, man. Come on. Mm. Yeah, that's what we'll use to just pop all the houses and everything and then this water should be going to work uh-oh are we not able to get you uh-oh uh-oh i think we found our weakness i think we found our weakness oh no oh no water's not sh okay we can just wreck them with our face and then oh, no 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 catch our catch ourselves okay um i'm gonna see if we can in fact reach the house up there so if we sort of aim and then Yep, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, man. So, oh, boy. Oh, boy. Alrighty, so I added in some more water cannons. I'm just trying to get all the angles covered, man. And I think we have all of them covered. We got the front here. We got the sides. The back. The back could honestly use a little more work. And we it would be nice to get diagonal as well. You know what? Maybe we could do... Maybe we could add in some... Uh, we'll add in a couple here. But maybe we could add in some some fire as well that might be interesting adding in the fire and the water okay so we got all the sides covered can you put a water cannon on top of a water cannon you can't that would be pretty useful though wouldn't it okay this is this is the ultimate fire truck this is what i'm talking about um now a problem that we reached is the front didn't really have too much penetration so let's try adding in some spikes here and hopefully that won't change too much um but rather it will just make it easier to sort of plow into things that are a little too low, like these stands right here. Like, we can just... We should be able to just boop them with our... our up. Oh, oh, boy. Oh, boy. We're... That's the problem. We have a lot of pressure on this. So, let me go ahead, brace up real quick. We probably just need a couple here, don't we? Okay, new, new idea. So, instead of having this guy up here at the front, we'll get rid of the spike. And I thought of this just now. Why not add in a few more pistons? This way... Um, I'm thinking that we should just be able to, uh, we'll, we'll make these guys pee as well, but I'm thinking that we should be able to just, you know, why not just use those things as well to just pretty much hit whatever's low or high or medium in front of us. So whenever we have something in front of us and we need to take care of it, pow, take that. It's like a, it's like the boxing glove, dude. We just go boop right in the kisser and then he's gone. So let's test it out real quick on one of these stands. So we're approaching, where the fire trucks sound the alarms. Oh my god, we are killing houses with water. Somehow that's possible. Alright, how you doing there? Oh, jeez, oh, oh, I didn't mean to, <laughs> dang it. Okay, take two, here comes the water, wrecking up shop. And then we just gotta pee, pee, there we go. And then that just destroys the, um, that just destroys the little food stands, doesn't it? Alright, I think we got this, <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I think we- oh, yeah, we got this game in the bag, dude. This is easy. We are- we are a terrifying spinning water spewing fire truck machine crane machine. We got the entire package here, ladies and gentlemen. All right, I think we have successfully beaten in this level. This is very impressive. I usually don't beat levels this fast. Oh man, okay. Are we gonna get you up top? We gotta sort of aim it up. Oh, I don't want to fall back, do I? Alrighty. Mm. Uh, uh, yes yes we were so close there we were so close I wonder if we can get that little parachuter up there we might be able to if we like flip over on our back take out you there we go that's what I'm talking about oh man this is going to be a very impressive run can we make these Yakovin slide <laughs> oh my god no no we just made one fall into another and then they just blew up Oh my god, I'm so sorry, Yakovins. Oh my gosh, we, we I just made one slide into another, and then they killed each other. Can we not hit this tree? Oh man, I'm just gonna have to crash into this tree, aren't I? The problem is, our ship weighs so much, crashing into stuff really isn't too efficient, but these punching bags on the front are awesome. Um, oh my god, water is OP OP, that's what I'm talking about, man. Um, this is really interesting how the water isn't running out like I usually thought it was just like a flamethrower and it would just run out perhaps it is just um, perhaps it is just a bug or something and in the future water will in fact run out or maybe it is does have a time limit it's just a super long
time limit. But anyway, guys, I wanted to talk to you real quick about an idea somebody gave me on Besiege. So over these episodes, I've been making these different, you know, creations and fun little invention ideas. Uh, most of them are fails, I will admit. Most of them don't really work or have too much of a purpose. But regardless, we still have a whole bunch of inventions. And I'm thinking that after we beat this game or maybe halfway through the game, or whenever, because I don't know how many levels they're going to make of this thing. But it's been fun how they've just been coming out with new levels. But anyway, somebody gave me the idea to actually, um, halfway through, or maybe coming up here in a few episodes, I'm going to go through and we are going to take a relive of all the different inventions that we have made and all the different machines that we have built. And I think that it sounds like such... A great idea because it has been a journey man unfortunately I've forgotten to save a whole bunch of different guys so we're, we're a little bit low on the um can I get this guy come on get that pot get that pot how can I I it really it really would have been better if we would have added some sort of steering hinge to the extender up top because I can't I can't hit that pot to save me oh my gosh okay here we go I think we've taken out we've definitely taken out a whole lot of whole lot of things I'm getting a little nervous here um, oh man are we stuck in this tree tree don't be the death of me don't be the death of me tree all right okay so we've destroyed a whole lot of the territory I believe we have to destroy 90% of it and when you guys in the comments said it's not just you know the towers and stuff like that it's everything but I pretty much destroyed everything except a few pots and I'm surprised I'm only I'm only about like 90% of the way done with my challenge well I've gotten to this point I'm um, take down this tree come on take it down take it down but I don't know what else to destroy we have literally killed everything on this map alright guys I guess it's time to go yak event hunting because the yaks have just been slipping and sliding and we haven't actually been killing them so we're gonna try to kill them. Unfortunately, I think our um our water might make them slip away from us. Oh man. Okay, did we kill that guy? We killed a Yakovin. All right, we're coming for you guys. Here we come. The water machine's coming. Are they just gonna slip away? No, they're not. Oh, look at that guy spinning. Did you see that? He was break dancing, dude. I just want to see this guy dance real quick. All right, buddy. Here you go. There's the water. Look at him break dance. Look at him break dance. Oh, he's a little stuck back there. Oh my gosh, this water. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Dude. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Come on. Stand up. Use your momentum. Use your water momentum. God, our machine looks so broken right now, dude. Oh, and we have lost. We have lost our poker stick. Hey, we stood up though. That's a positive. We are so close. We are so close to killing this thing. All right, I'm gonna kill a few of these Yakovins. These Yakovins are giving me points, I'm pretty sure. Right, if we stop slipping away. Don't do it, stop break dancing, buddy. Oh my goodness, maybe we shouldn't have added in this water because he is just, he's just break dancing away. Dude, where are you going? Where, <laughs> look at him, he's just spinning away. I don't know how to kill him. Come on, we're so close. Uh, P, get him. Come on, we're so close, kill him. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Look how far away I had to travel to kill one yak. We, oh my gosh, he was just breakdancing. All right, at this point, I think it's best to just turn off this water system because it's just making him breakdance away. Um, but guys, we are so close. I think these, oh my God, look at those Yakovins over there. Jeez, oh man, we're having to go on a trip. My question is, how in the world did he get all the way out here? How, how is this even physically possible? He is just booking it. He is trying to start a new life in a new village. Oh my goodness. I have no idea how you ever got out this far. But holy crap. You were out here. Oh my. Look how far. This is at least a like 10 minute jump. Because they sort of just vibrate on the ground. Yeah, it's a 10 minute vibration away from town. So that yak's been just vibrating away for 10 minutes. Well guys, I don't know about you, but this new water feature is super cool. Like, oh my god, that's awesome. There's so many times where you just had to kill an army of people, and this is definitely the way to do it. Just send a bunch of water at them, because what can they do? They are just like, they're running at you, and you're just killing them. So, there we go guys, we have conquered 
the zone with our our sort of our fire engine <laughs> that's just pushing the mobs away oh my gosh this is like a crazy water gun and mention but that's all the time I have for today hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode of the siege where we beat this level um tune in next time and we will verse level 20 24 I believe level 24 and yeah uh, there's probably been some more levels added because of this update with the water gun and we'll make some sort of crazy water gun invention next time um regardless my name's crew hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you all in the next episode of besiege adios rolling so let's see if we're groovy with them are we groovy with them holy crap dude holy crap look at this thing oh my goodness oh my goodness i look like a transformer right now okay let's see if we can oh my god yes Oh my god, yes, we are rocking up shop. Okay, um, let's sort of aim. Okay, aim a little bit better. <laughs>